Hi, my name is Marcus Dankwa. Today I'm going to give you 10 easy steps to follow to answer questions from ACCA P5. My 10 steps that I have selected are 1. How you manage your time in the exam. So 2. The selection of the question that you need to go through. 3. How to go about your requirement. 4. I talk about the planning tools. 5. I talk about what the, the things you... Five, I talk about the things you do when you're reading the scenario. Six, how you present your answer. And then I'll use these six steps to go through a sample question from your examiner, to look at the A part of the question, the B part of the question, and the C part of the question. I'll conclude by talking to you about the things that you need to do before the day of the exams. The sample question I'll be using is a question called LOL. This question was examined in December 2010 and it's question number three. The requirements given over here are A for four marks, B for 12 marks, and C for four marks. The total marks for this question is 20 marks. Let's look at how to go through the 10 easy steps using this simple, simple example. As I said earlier, my first step is time management. Here I'm saying that your time management is exam, so is very, very, very critical to your exams. If you are able to manage your time well, you will be able to pass ACCA P5 easily. Listen, we are being given 100 marks, and for this 100 marks, we've been given 180 minutes to complete the exams. Mathematically, that will mean that for each mark, we need to spend a total of 1.8 minutes. That being said, you don't have to exceed this time given because you wouldn't have more time anywhere. The total marks given to this question is 20 marks. That really means that we need to use a maximum of 36 minutes. Therefore, for the A part of the question where we are being given four marks, we need to use a total of 7.2 minutes. The second part of the question is also for 12 marks. 12 marks, mathematically, if I multiply 12 by 1.8, it means I need to spend a total of 21.6 minutes. The C part of the question is also for four marks, and four marks mean we need to spend a total of 7.2 minutes. That actually means that for the total 20 marks, we require 36 minutes. Be careful you don't exceed this 36 minutes because if you are able to manage your time effectively in the exam soil, it will also guarantee you somewhere towards a pass.